guys it is me life simmer and welcome back to the sims 3 pets lp part 46 uh currently baby grayson is using the toilet <laughs> we're gonna potty train this one um i usually never potty train my kids because it's just it's not cute it's not cute um anyways um we actually when we left off we were in the process of uh going to meet the unicorn and what i actually did is i went ahead and had bailey who's asleep right now because she was up all night with the unicorn, um, go and come friends with the unicorn. I did it off camera. She was already exhausted. It was, it'd be an odd way to open up the part and everything, but we will head out once again tonight. They're currently only friends and they need to be more than that, I'm pretty sure, um, to invite the unicorn to come live with us. I read a little bit about it and pretty much um, you might even have to become best friends with a cat. Um, you have to become best friends with a dog, which we already are, I'm pretty sure. Or we're not. We'll have to become best friends with a dog and we're already best friends forever with Rose. So it's a little bit of a process, but we'll definitely have to do it. It was really neat, especially when it disappeared. <laughs> it was pretty cool. But here he is, cleaning up baby Grayson's poop. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's today Andy's actually, what is Andy doing? He uh, repaired a little bit of stuff, and I think what I'm going to have him do today is go hang out with Cole for a little bit. Kind of see his son, you know, Brandy, the whole schmeal of a deal of the McGarts, right? And Oliver... Oliver, what should you do today? He's like, I still cannot get over the fact of how bad baby Grayson's poop smelled. <laughs> He's like, that was horrible. He's going to go use the toilet. And what does he want to do? Chat with Mr. Grayson. Oh, that'd be pretty cute. If he came over here and had a conversation with baby Grayson. We'll definitely have to do it. We'll definitely have to do it. <laughs> uh, we're going to tickle him and snuggle a little bit goo goo gaga toddlers aren't the best conversationalists but talking to them can be rewarding in its own way what a good dad i swear he's been there more than his freaking mother <laughs> she's been busy you know riding horses and all that good stuff let's see baby grayson he's pretty cute can't even talk to him oh what a good dad. They're really good friends. <laughs> He's pretty cute. Alright, let's uh, snuggle him a little bit. He's definitely going to be a daddy's boy. <laughs> for sure. Um, let's actually go ahead and purchase him a little... One of those little thingies. What are they called? A bobble? <laughs> One of these. Um, let's go ahead and get him get him something cute i have so many of these like little bobble things because sims 3 store expansion packs you know stuff packs i i have literally had probably at least 10 or more they're just amazing and i love them and i definitely need to use them more but let's go ahead and give him let's give him who it's fall time so maybe we'll do the witch in spring one so it can kind of go with spooky day <laughs> right we'll kind of go with spooky day in a way all right let's go ahead and um it's raining out right now but uh change him into his outerwear and bring him outside for a little bit maybe even take him on a walk that's what we should do let's go ahead and take him on a walk so let's get a stroller <laughs> so much to do let's get him a little stroller um we'll go ahead and get him this one. Okay. And let's go to a community lot with Grayson Waters. Let's take him to where somewhere close by that they could have fun. They'll head to the equestrian center and maybe go watch a show or something today. Hang out there for a little while and then maybe we'll have a uh, Bailey. Uh, when she wakes up, we'll have her go do a um, an equestrian competition and they'll watch. I think that'd be kind of cute. All right, Andy. It's going to go fill Penny's food bowl. You're good, Andy. Why don't you go visit Cole? It's raining, but they don't care. They're going for a stroll. 
<laughs> so cute. So freaking cute. Did you see Andy like totally just slide out of the house? <laughs> that was pretty cool. What is this? Horse jump power. Hour. Well, we're not going to do that. Oh, but he's such a good dad. Grayson's freaking... Oh, I just want to eat him up. All right, Bailey, it's time to wake up, doll. <laughs> we don't want to turn her into somebody who's nocturnal. So she's going to use the toilet, take a bath, and um, also eat some orange pancakes, which sounds kind of gross to me. I, I love oranges, and I love pancakes, but the combination, I don't know, it doesn't sound that good to me anyways. All right, they're already here. Um, there's not much that they can do right now. So maybe, just maybe, a little, uh, go do something else for a little while. Um, there's just nothing around here. The coffee house is up here. They could maybe... Oh, well, the fall festival's right here. Okay. They'll go take a stroll to the fall festival, hopefully really quickly, because they'll probably miss it. But they'll just take a taxi over here, is what they'll do. They're just going to go for a walk to the fall festival, because by the time they get there, it's going to be time to turn around again. <laughs> So, all right, Andy's over here. Who's he talking to? All right, we're gonna listen to a compliment. We're in the basement right now. This house is really big and really, really beautiful. So, I mean, it's kind of cool that, you know, Cole lives here and everything. Whoa, that was a little close, Brandy. A little too close for my liking. Um, was Brandy just hitting on us? Oh, she is. She's being flirty. We are going to... What should we do? Should we hit back on her? Or... Or no. Nah? <laughs> Let me never say that ever again. Um, let's go ahead and, uh... Damn, Andy, you're such a good boy. Don't even start. She's just a big hoe. <sighs> let's, um... Let's be a little rude to her. Let's be like... Let's argue with her. Let's be like, what were you just doing, Brandy? What a little... Ooh. I should tell my son on you. I really should. We're here to see the dogs, not you. Let's go over here and say hi to Dainty. Feed her a treat. And give a smoochie to Bruno. Is Cole here? Is he at work? Like, where is he? I don't think he is home. Oops, shoot. Shoot. All right, it's about 4 p.m. These two are still walking to the fall festival. Um, it's right there, but you know what? You guys are already pretty late. So, you guys are going to go right here, walk back to the equestrian center. And Bailey is now ready to go ahead and jump on Rose. Where's Rose? Here she is. All right, Bailey's going to wake her up. And we are going to mount on her. All righty. Go on, go on, go on. We definitely... Ooh! Oh, I thought that struck Bailey. Oh, that was intense. That was a really, really intense... No, 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 Rose. Rose is in a really bad mood. She's panicked, and she's thirsty, and she smells. She's just not in the mood to go race. Well, what we're going to go ahead and do is give her some water really quickly, and then we're going to take her. Uh, damn it, it's not even filled with water. She can drink from it. It still has water. All right, yeah, she's going to go in here and uh, have a drink of water. All right. It's very, very stormy out. And they are going to enter a racing international. Oh, he's about to leave the baby here. Oh, there's just so much going on. Okay, they're actually going to enter the jumping advanced. And he's going to go grab the baby. And they are going to attend the equestrian seminar, whatever it is. Competition. Here we go. We're going to go with baby Grayson. Go on, take the baby. Oh, and Cruz Hamilton is throwing a party. It begins in one hour. Maybe after the equestrian competition, we'll actually head there and do that. 
Oh my gosh, is he dropping the baby off and then going in? Pick up baby Grayson. Go on. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Look at him walking everywhere. I love it. I love him walking everywhere. Oh! Oh! What just happened? What? What? He's in there watching this show. He said, F you, Dad. I'm going. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to go for broke, maybe? I don't know. Looks it's looking like we're not going to do too good. Come on. Second place. Second place. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. And baby Grayson's out here after he just walked in. Walked in all by himself. And his dad left him. What the fuck, dude? Come get your kid. Wow, what a jerk. He, like, leaves his kid and... Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to head to Cruz's party really quickly. And Oliver is going to come get the baby. Oh, my goodness. I'm surprised this kid hasn't been taken away yet. Are you kidding me? Wow. And I was this morning like, Oliver's been such a good dad. Wow, I'm so proud of him. And then I see that he leaves baby Grayson all alone. Never mind. Scratch that. He's not that good of a dad. All right. Here we are at Cruz's. Let's go ahead and jump off the horse. The end. Let's go ahead and really quickly clean the horse's hooves, Rose's hooves, and brush her off just to make her nice and clean before we go in. What is what is the matter with these two? Oh, Grayson is not in a good mood. And like, look at look at Oliver right now. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Why does it do this? And look at Captain over here in the background, all by himself. She's like, mm, I hate you all. I hate you all. I hate you all. <laughs> he said it that many times, too. Alrighty, so. What is this? We feel insulted. Whatever. No need to impress her. Let's go into the house. Where's Cruz? Wow, what a party, Cruz. What a party. We're going home. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and leave. <laughs> it's not exactly our scene not too exciting we're just gonna go ahead and go home these two are in obviously a very bad mood grayson's up here or actually downstairs so tired drinking his baba <laughs> so uh once we get home we're gonna go ahead and uh put him to sleep because he is super super tired and oliver's super tired and hungry as well and what's andy up to oh he's still over here what is he doing what are you two doing down here? Still having a conversation. We're going to enthuse about dogs a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go home. Just leave it off on that note that Andy really loves dogs. Actually, just kidding. Cole's home. Uh, we're going to come over here and, uh, and um, high five him. And reminisce about... Reminisce about the good old days with him. And then he's going to go ahead and head home. He's going to be like, I remember those days when your mother and you used to fight. And you used to creep around the, the home. And I just, yes, good times. <laughs> That's what Andy's going to go do. But everybody's going to go ahead and head to bed. Um, We'll fill that with water tomorrow. We'll wake up. We'll feed everybody. Do all the chores. All that good stuff. But for now, everybody's going to go ahead and head to bed because they're all super tired. And, um, yes. Alrighty, so I will get back to you guys um, in the morning. Alrighty, All right. guys. So it is now morning time. And um, we're going to have some orange pancakes once again this morning. And I actually just heard something about The Sims 4, which I was like, ooh. I never really talk about the sims 4 too too much but i really do want you guys to know i am just as excited as everybody else i'm like literally like sims 4 sims 4 sims 4 let's go <laughs> i'm really excited for it and i just heard that there was going to be beta testing for the sims 4 and can i just tell you that i would literally shit myself if i got to beta test the game um, I remember signing up for something way back in the day about beta testing for SimCity, and 
if they still have those records and somehow I magically get picked or something, I think I would, I, I think I would probably cry and it would be awesome, but it probably won't happen because <laughs> let's be real, my luck is literal shit. Um, I got lucky on a few things in life, <laughs> so <laughs> that's about it. Um, but no, that'd be really, really awesome. And um, today, May the 3rd, right? May the 3rd? Yeah, May the 3rd, we actually got a new picture of The Sims 4, which showed the very first child, and I was just like, Sims 4 all day, every day, cannot wait. I actually really, really like the way The Sims 4 looks, and I don't know, I'll go more into it in a different video. I'm just really, really excited. Um, so Andy's going to come out here. Oh, that's what happened. Um, overnight, um, somebody tried to fly, fly away, and yeah, so Penny um, has flown off into the sunset, uh, but in, in reality, she's... She's not here. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to have Bailey go clean up. Actually, she's uh, about to bathe Captain. So never mind. We're going to have Oliver, who's about to get out of the bath, right after he uh, cleaned himself up. He's going to go throw away a dead ass bird. Um, yeah, that's pretty gross. <laughs> Does he pick it up? No, he doesn't. I was about to say, stop it. Alrighty, so yeah, Penny unfortunately passed away, which means it's time for another bird. We're going to get a cockatoo, <laughs> and we are going to name it. See what it looks like to give it a good name. Ooh, oh, it looks like my dog. Like, um, I went to Disney a long time ago, and they had this um, tiki type of feel like tiki bird room where like everybody sings and it's really really awesome and one of the birds in there looked just like this and it was dancing and it looked just like my dog to me I don't know why but we're gonna go ahead and give it the name of my dog Gigi so now I have my dog this is pretty exciting let's go ahead and fill the squiddles food bowls and fill Izzy's and fill Patty's awesome and uh andy's gonna come out here and just continue to rake and bailey will go ahead and um feed the chickens and all that good stuff and what's rose up to right now oh that's what we forgot to do last night we forgot to go look for the unicorns oh man i'll definitely definitely have to do that um in this part oh and you know what instead of feeding the chickens why don't you go feed your kid it's a good idea, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and change Grayson's dirty diaper. And um, also feed him. Oliver, we have this one. Okay, Oliver, let us be a mom for once. He's always grabbing the kid. Let's give him a bottle. Did Cotton just piss and like run out of the room? Cotton, are you serious? Oh, Cotton, we really have not been, well, I haven't been paying enough attention to my dogs. I feel so bad. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and have uh, Cotton come over here and uh, socialize a little bit with Rose. Cole, what are you crying about now? There's nothing to cry about, buddy. Let's go pot, why am I saying Cole? Oops. Let's go potty train Grayson really quickly before we eat. Uh, let him go potty. Hey. <laughs> Look at him learning. <laughs> he has like this really, really concentrated face on. Like he's really, really thinking. <laughs> he's really, really thinking. Oh, that is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> really concentrating. <laughs> I 
I love it. All right, so he's about halfway there. So about two more bathroom trips, and Grayson should be able to go potty by himself. We have two more days to teach him. I think that is more than enough time to do so. All right, Andy's still out here raking leaves. He's such a good man. You know, he's like, I don't know. I just love this sim. He's probably my all-time favorite male sim that I have ever mated. Ever mated? What? I did mate him. He did have babies, but no. He's my favorite sim I have ever had. Easily. We're going to burn the leaves right by the graves. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Andy is going to come down here. And let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and make a clown in the box. I think we have already, didn't we? Did we not? Nope, we did. I remember making a clown in the box. I'm pretty sure toddlers can't use it if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, only children can. But we're going to come down here and make him some drums because they can use the drums, which is really, really cute. Um, so let's go ahead and make Grayson some drums really quickly. Nice little drum set. It is absolutely the cutest thing. If you watched my uh, mini LP of Midnight Hollow, you saw this. But I think that's the only place where I showed it. I think my mini LP was like eight parts or something like that. It's just a mini LP of the world. Nothing too, too exciting. Let's go ahead and put this down for baby Grayson. And he's going to come play the drums like a cutie patootie. Give me my little drummer boy. <laughs> Look at him. It's effing adorable. I just want to eat him up with his little, his little mohawk. Oh, I love it. So, so, so freaking cute. Alrighty. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead. Let's see. Look at the, look at the bird over here. Really playing. I love that. So, so, so cute. We could go enter an equestrian competition today. Um, but I don't think we will. Not today. Not today. What we're going to go ahead and do, actually, is we're going to go take a nap. A really quick nap uh, to go ahead and get ready for um, when the unicorn does right. come out. And let's go ahead. Where is he going? He's going to get inside. Andy is going. Okay, you know what? Where's Captain? Where's Captain? He's chewing right here. Let's go ahead and teach him how to sh uh, speak. We were in the middle of teaching him how to speak. We might as well finish it off. Alrighty, and Andy's gonna go potty. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and cut off until about midnight, which is in about uh, a few hours. So, yeah, I will be right back. Alrighty, guys, so it is now 12:41, and guess who's out? The unicorn. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is really quickly, we're gonna pick up some. This is one really really good way for horses to like you including the unicorns is bring some fresh produce to feed them and they absolutely love it um last time i fed the unicorn blackberries now we're gonna go ahead and bring some let's bring do we have any carrots i don't think we do we don't let's go ahead and bring some raspberries they'll like that too um and I think Bailey, Bailey will also bring some oranges so Bailey can eat because she's a little hungry. She feels a little sick too. She has that uh, that nasty, nasty, germy type of feel. A nice little cold because she's uh, been out in the rain a lot. But uh, here's the unicorn, Aura, right here. And the unicorn that we've uh, been friends with, Ares horses or Ares, I don't know. Ares, I think that's it. Um, we're going to come here and rub its neck and pet it a little bit. And just, you know, come say hi to it once more. And you also do not want to feed the horse too, too much because it does get mad, actually. It, like, it gets mad and just doesn't appreciate it. So don't feed it too, too much. It will let you know when he doesn't want any more by negative, by negative reflect. <laughs> All right, we get it. You're hungry. You're hungry. Eat that. Feed him an orange. Oh, 
He gave us a blessing, a unicorn's blessing. Wow, what a great feeling. Bailey should be able to accomplish a lot more with this blessing. Just look at her. Ooh, so he blessed us. <gasps> Invite unicorn to join household. Do it. He said, bitch, no. <laughs> Excuse my language. I'm really, really trying to cut down on it. It's hard to maintain a good relationship when you don't call or hang out with friends. Prove, first prove to me that you are friends to all creatures. Only then will I consider your offer. Oh, okay. But first, let's go ahead and uh, make it up to him a little bit and kind of just, you know, make him feel like we're really good friends again. Uh, pet him and rub his neck and do all that good stuff. So what we have to do, actually, it's kind of like a mission. <laughs> A really, really hard mission because pets are hard. But, um, the sim will get bored if you keep using. Yeah, yeah, I know. So we're going to go ahead and watch the unicorn. But pretty much what we have to do is now that we have the unicorn's blessing on us, um, it might be a little bit easier, but we need to actually, okay, the unicorn's gone. All right, let's go ahead and head home. Um, what we have to do is... Be really, we have to be absolutely best friends with every animal that came with pets, excluding small animals. So, horses, cats, and dogs. Um, so, with that being said, what we're going to go ahead and do in the next part, once again, we're leaving it off with the unicorn, is we are going to come best friends with probably Cotton right here. And um, we'll have to go find a cat <laughs> or something and do that as well. Um, I don't want to purchase a cat because then again, like, you know, then we'd have five animals in our household once the unicorn came in and then I'd want to mate and it just, it'd be a big mess. <laughs> so what we're going to go ahead and do is, uh, we're just going to wait and we'll probably just, uh, come friends with the cat. But right now, we do have a unicorn's blessing. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about this. Um, you don't always get a positive unicorn blessing. Sometimes it will curse you. Um, so it's pretty neat, you know? I, I think it's neat. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do, I'll probably do it off camera too, is just, you know, bring up those, um, bring up those friendships and everything. So, yeah, I'll uh, I will see you guys in the next part. Alrighty. I love you all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.